Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Cyberbytes Hub. Today, we're diving into some juicy leaks about NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 5080 and RTX 5090 graphics cards. If you're ready to get the latest scoop on NVIDIA's powerhouse GPUs, stick around and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates. So, NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs, codenamed Blackwell, are right around the corner, and leaks have been hitting the web like wildfire. These are the successors to the RTX 40 series, and from what we know, they're set to blow their predecessors out of the water. The flagship model, the RTX 5090, is expected to have a total graphics power of 600 watts, a whopping 21,760 CUDA cores, and 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory on a 512-bit bus. It's designed to be an absolute beast of a card, but let's break down what these numbers actually mean. To give you some context, the RTX 5090 will have nearly double the performance of the current RTX 4080. This is largely due to its increased core count and the use of GDDR7 memory, which improves bandwidth. However, the 600-watt power consumption is also a big leap, making it a power-hungry machine. You'll definitely need a beefy power supply for this one. Given the power requirements, cooling could be a big issue. We're talking about needing massive cooling solutions to keep temperatures under control, especially during extended gaming or rendering sessions. Now let's talk about the RTX 5080, which could be the first card NVIDIA launches from the Blackwell series. According to leaks, it will feature 10,752 CUDA cores, 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, and a 256-bit bus. This makes it significantly smaller in performance compared to the 5090, but still powerful in its own right. The power consumption for the 5080 is expected to be around 400 watts, which is still quite high, but more manageable compared to its bigger brother. While the performance gap between the two is substantial, the RTX 5080 should be more than enough for most gamers and content creators who don't need the absolute bleeding edge. So what does all this mean for actual performance? Well, the 5090 is likely to excel in 4K gaming, AI workloads, and high-end rendering tasks. Think twice the performance of the RTX 4080 in some applications. The RTX 5080, while not as powerful, will still deliver top-tier performance for gaming at 1440p and 4K resolutions. If you're someone who pushes your GPU to the max with tasks like 3D rendering or machine learning, the RTX 5090 will be the card to beat. But for gamers, the 5080 is likely the sweet spot, offering excellent performance at a more reasonable power draw and price point. As for the release timeline, rumors suggest that NVIDIA might launch the RTX 5080 first, potentially before the end of 2024, with the RTX 5090 following in 2025. If these leaks are true, we're looking at some exciting times ahead for PC enthusiasts. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited for these new GPUs, or are you waiting for something else? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Until next time, keep your rigs cool and your FPS high.